Unsurprisingly, Cardi B has caused yet another controversy. Yes, it's truly shocking, but this time, it's not necessarily about something she herself did, but rather something that she did with someone else. Because a special cameo in a music video of hers and another singer has caused a lot of people to protest in a very special way, and naturally, the queen of rap has a lot to say on the matter. But is she right to defend what she did? Allow us to break it down for you, but first, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Do you want to win a brand new iPhone or a brand new MacBook Pro? Maybe you'd prefer a $500 Amazon gift card? Well, comment the hidden message in this video for a chance to enter to win. Number 7. So what exactly happened? Okay, this issue is honestly a bit more complicated than it would appear given the people involved in it, so we'll break it down step by step. Cardi B decided to go and collaborate with fellow rapper Megan Thee Stallion on a song called WAP. The song was made after a very violent incident concerning Meg when her then boyfriend shot at her. There's a lot more to that story, but we're focusing on the song here, okay? The song was a major hit and soared to the top of the charts, thus naturally the song was given a music video and a lot of people were excited to see it. What happened though was that while Cardi and Megan were naturally in the video, so was Kylie Jenner, which was not something that anyone expected, or as we would find out, wanted to the extent that a change.org petition was made to try and get her out of it. Writer Daniel Young best summarized the frustration some black women felt seeing Jenner, a white woman, in a video that seems to celebrate black women owning their sexuality. Normani did all this and Kylie walked down a hall and opened a door, one fan wrote on Twitter, of Kylie and Normani's appearances the latter of whom performed an epic dance. If that's not a perfect visual indication of black women having to do the most and white women doing the bare minimum to get somewhere, I don't know what is. And if you're thinking that this is just a small raging from certain fans, you'd be wrong, because well over 60,000 people have signed that petition, and that means that people really do care about this. Which of course brings us to number six, Cardi's response. You knew this was coming, right? especially since it would be weird to talk about who was in the music video without hearing from the one who basically made it. Cardi B responded in a series of since-deleted tweets, writing, Not everything is about race. Why did I put Kylie on my music video? She treated my sister and daughter so lovely at her kid's B-Day party, Cardi B tweeted, adding that her husband, rapper Offset, is close with rapper Travis Scott, the father of Jenner's daughter Stormy. Now there are a few different ways you can read into this. On one hand, Cardi is right that not everything is about race. It's just not. And as noted, she did this as a thank you of sorts for when they were hanging out with their families. Plus, their husbands, kind of, know each other so that plays into it. But you can also read into this that Cardi B just doesn't care about how things look or how they'll be received. She's more interested in making money and getting fame, and she likely thought that having the one and only Kylie Jenner on the video would be a big way to get attention. Of course, that doesn't mean she didn't have a very Cardi B response. Normani is one of the best female artists that dances, like she dances her effing off. Why would she open a door? Please tell me how that would make sense, Cardi questioned. The best part of the song is the beat and hook. It's what makes you want to shake your... And to that end, she was right about the media. People are talking about this more because of the Kylie Jenner issue. But that in and of itself raises a major question, why is this such an issue? Yes, we saw that note about race from the petition, but is that all of it? Actually, no, it's not. There's a lot more, in fact. Number 5. The Kardashian Appropriation when it comes to the Kardashian-Jenner clan, they are known and revel in for being controversial. Whether it be big things or small things, they'll go and do whatever they can to get the spotlight. It's in their DNA and that has led to some very unfortunate choices by them that has not gone unnoticed by people. There's been long-simmering anger among some African Americans who have complained that women in the Kardashian-Jenner family have often appropriated black culture to benefit their various brands. Pepsi famously pulled a commercial that featured sister Kendall Jenner handing an officer a can of soda during a fictitious protest in 2017 after it was accused of appropriating the Black Lives Matter movement. Kim Kardashian West was slammed the same year for appearing with darker skin on the cover of Interview Magazine, where she channeled the classic look of former First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy. Oh, and if you think it stops there, you're dead wrong. There have been various other cases of the Kardashian-Jenner clan going all out to basically adopt looks and claim them as their own, such as when she infamously did a braided hair look and suddenly pieces on the internet popped up, stating that she was the creator of a new hairstyle where that wasn't even close to being the case. When Kim Kardashian West famously set out to break the internet by showing off her generous rear end for Paper Magazine, the image engendered some rage in the black community by those who saw it as a parody of Sartige Bartman, a black woman who was labeled Hot and Tut Venus and marketed as an exhibit in a traveling freak show during the era of slavery in the US. Political commentator Sally Kahn wrote a piece for the Washington Post about Kardashian West's photo spread and raised other examples of the family stoking anger regarding racial issues. Khan noted that Kardashian took a swipe at her haters for saying she doesn't possess any talent. But I think Kardashian does have a talent, exploiting the fetishization of women of color to line her own pockets, Khan wrote. She's like a buck naked Trojan horse for a devious message that the rest of us shouldn't get our panties in a bunch about sexism and racism because, hey, 
Kim Kardashian is laughing about it all the way to the bank. Which, if we can be honest here, is absolutely right. While the Kardashians and the Jenners sometimes claim that they're trying to be socially appropriate and supporting things like Black Lives Matter, which Kim made a long post about on Instagram in May, they more times than not flaunt just how much they don't care about things like this by doing all sorts of acts and purchases that boggle the mind. Which, in truth, might be the reason that Cardi B likes them so much. Number 4. The Queens of Controversy and Cash we say that because when you put together Cardi B and the Kardashian-Jenner clan, you get a group that revels in two things, controversy and cash. For the Kardashian-Jenner clan, their life was forever on the D-list. They were famous because of their patriarch and then who Chris married via Bruce Jenner, but nothing was meant to go their way. Then Kim K went and did an explicit tape that got the whole world talking, pre-internet boom of course, and that was enough for Kris Jenner to go and try and take her family to the next level. They got their own reality show and when that happened, Kris went to the moon and back in terms of trying to get her children all sorts of fame and buzz, which she did by basically selling out the family name in order to brand everything imaginable and get paid as a result. It worked and she became the matriarch to a major celebrity family that had its hands in all sorts of pies as it were. Her daughters, and to a lesser extent her sons, had become megastars that were adored, mainly because of their TV show. As things grow, so did their desire to be more and more famous, which led to celebrity dating, more sponsorships, a couple of very messy affairs and divorces, and so on and so forth. And when Kylie got the fame bug, they went full tilt to try and make her the most famous of the bunch, but more on that later. As for Cardi B, she was someone who literally came from nothing to become a queen. She was born in a rough part of New York and was basically raised by her grandmother. And as she grew up, she had to work as a stripper to try and make ends meet. It wasn't easy for her, but she went on to social media and used it to express herself and her personality, and it got her a lot of attention. She eventually got onto the show Love & Hip Hop and soon was making waves with her song Kodak Yellow, as she soon asserted herself as the queen of rap after a few more hit tracks. Her controversies have come in though via her lifestyle, choice and husband, and the various things she's willing to do for money and attention including a long-standing belief that she faked a separation from husband Offset so that she could get some more spotlight on them. She denied it, but that's what you would do when in that situation, right? Plus, when it comes to her and money, she's really unapologetic. She well and truly will go to the ends of the earth for money. She once had plastic surgery to fix herself after having a child, and instead of resting and letting her body heal, she went and did concerts and basically ruined her feet and legs because, quote, I wanted money. So yeah, these ladies are a lot alike, and it's no surprise that they hang out together and put each other in various things. And yet you can't help but wonder if Cardi B should have gone and thought more about putting Kylie in the music video, especially because of her slightly fraudulent ways. Number 3. The Kylie Jenner Situation Another thing that Kylie Jenner and Cardi B seem to have in common is that they're not afraid to lie about their own goals achieved. Cardi has lied about her relationship status with Offset multiple times, including stating that she would never get back with him again after filing divorce papers, only to get back with him less than three months later after he showered her with gifts. As for Kylie Jenner, her and her family were never afraid to lie about how wealthy she was and wasn't. You see, a few years back, Kylie started her own cosmetics company, and she was claiming she was getting well over $300 million in sales in a year, and that the year that followed that announcement was even greater. This led to Forbes and many other publications labeling Jenner a self-made billionaire, which a lot of people cried foul on because she was a member of a famous family who had access to various resources most people don't and a name that you can bank on, but that's not the point here. In 2019, Kylie sold her company, which was a very fair and legitimate thing to do. However, after further investigation by Forbes, they found out that Kylie was lying not just about how much money she was making, but how big her company actually was. Her and her mother, Kris Jenner, who made false accounts and oversold just how much they were doing and how much they were making so that Kylie could appear to be richer than she was. Granted, she was still rich, that wasn't the issue at all, but she wasn't worth a billion dollars, which Forbes noted after their investigation in a correction article. Plus, Kylie has never exactly been the kindest to people when it comes to flaunting her wealth. After a breakup with Travis Scott, she decided to celebrate by going and getting some new cars, which fans called her out on because she could use that money to donate to charity and help people in actual need, which Kylie bit back on. So yeah, Kylie isn't exactly the greatest person ever, but apparently Cardi B digs her, and that was enough to go and do the music video. Number 2. Social Issues you might think it odd that so many people are getting mad at a rapper and a rap song because of social issues, but believe it or not, rap has often been a source to voice frustrations at the world and the politics surrounding it. From NWA doing their classic song about the abuse of police to Eminem doing a freestyle rap about Donald Trump and his abuse of power and so on. This is what they do, but the flip side is also true. Rappers have also gotten in trouble because they've ignored social issues and sided with the wrong people, such as Lil Pump and the racist slurs he did on Butterfly Doors, or Lil Wayne, among others, siding with Donald Trump in the 2020 election. These issues matter, and again, this wasn't a handful of people blasting Cardi B because she put Jenner in a video. It was tens of thousands of people, and that makes it a movement. Not that Cardi or Kylie care. Number 1. So what happens now? 
As for what happens next, that's not up to us to decide. People will likely continue to be mad at the video, which is fine, that's their right. But as for Cardi B editing out Kylie Jenner or reshooting the scene, that's not likely to happen. Cardi B is too stubborn, and though she deleted the tweets where she denounced the hate for the video, she still said she doesn't care about the fans' reaction. So once again, controversy reigns, and the Kardashian Jenners are gonna drink it all up. And there you have it everyone, a look at the various elements of the music video that Cardi B is catching flag for because of the Kylie Jenner inclusion. Which of these elements do you feel are justified in terms of the fans not being happy? This just happened. Do you think that these people are overreacting to the situation? How do you feel about how Cardi B responded to the situation? Let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on the channel.